You know, when it comes to Stellar Blade, the worst thing is that we have been lied to, that uh, the game is falsely advertised that the game would release uncensored. Now, before I get fully into this, do me the favor and hit the subscribe button. Just go over there, move your mouse. I can see you right now. I will reach through this computer and hit it for you. No, you know, I can't do that. But we're going to talk about how Stellar Blade on Twitter actually put out a post. This is before the game was released that it would be uncensored in all countries. Uh, Stellar Blade offers the same uncensored version in all countries, including the Japanese version. This was a promise that was put out by the game developers on April 21st, 2000. 24, and the director of Stellar Blade addresses the censorship himself on a video. The game is indeed censored when patched. They got community noted on this, and it's absolutely disheartening to see that they think gamers are this stupid, that people think that we're just going to sit here and take it. There's a petition going on. There's lots of people talking about it. And this is no different than what we've seen in the past for Sony and censorship. Now, things that aren't censored. Uh, let, let's talk about this. Cyberpunk 2077, they have full-on sex. Uh, you can do full-on nudity in it. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, the same thing. It's not censored. There was no clamoring for it. But this, this is Eve in a skimpy outfit and that's it. We're talking, we're talking, they're putting a shirt over the midriff and that is the censorship that we're talking about. Even though the advertising of the game said it would never do this. They wouldn't censor it. And now they've walked it back and the developers have said this was uh, uh, what we were trying to show initially. No, what you showed initially was in the demo, in the trailers, and everything else, that this stuff would not be censored. And people have figured out, if you own the physical copy of the game, you can boot and put the game into your uh, PlayStation, and then reverse the update, and keep it as the initial. But, it comes with a downfall, one of which you do not get New Game Plus. Well, if you want New Game Plus later on down the game, once you play through the entire game, you can then install the patch and get New Game Plus anyway. So, but then you get the censorship of the outfits, but hopefully by the time you get through the whole game, they have sat there as a round table and have reversed this absolute tragic story of censorship of Eve in Stellar Blade. On top of all of this, someone is claiming uh, that you can get a refund, but this has been proven false. Someone went ahead and actually contacted PlayStation support and said, listen, uh, we're under the impression this is false advertising. This is something I alluded to in my initial video promoting the uh, petition that is out there. That petition will also be in the pinned comment down below. Please go sign that. We need to make waves on this. We need them to hear us as gamers not to sit there and show off Eve's extra features or assets, but to say, listen, you guys promised this to be uncensored in a mature rated game. It needs to say uncensored in a mature rated game. Sony sitting there trying to play parents to everyone out there on the internet, every gamer out there, they're not the parents. They just own the console and we want to play the game on it. And we want what's promised. People want what is promised and that was uncensored. We're not asking for nudes. We're just asking for it to be uncensored. Not only was her outfit censored, but the gore and the blood in the game was also censored. This really reminds me back in the day of Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 1 came out on the Super Nintendo and on the Sega Genesis. On the Super Nintendo, Nintendo as a company sat there and censored the blood and gore out of the game, where on the Sega, you got the uncensored version. And that's all we're asking for here. We're asking for the uncensored version. We're asking for it to be that way because that was what was promised. That was the advertising that people bought this game on. Anyway, 
So someone's gone along and it, they, they asked about the whole process and they, they did come back saying, sorry, it's out of our hands. You already installed the game. You played it for a few hours. We are not going to issue a refund or remove the game from your system. So initially people were saying, were saying that yes, you can contact them. This was a Reddit post, but it seems that this was falsified uh, information. So this is out there right now. Now, the, the the bottom of this, of course, you know, you've got the PlayStation logo where you have play has no limits. Well, it has limits when it comes to PlayStation because they will censor games and say, listen, you can censor it, you can lick our boot, and that's how it's going to be. You get to enjoy the game, and we're, we've gone, we've given you enough. We've given you enough, but for you guys wanting this uncensored, it's not going to happen. Hopefully, hopefully I can report back on this story and get a new version of this and actually say, yes, we are getting it uncensored. Otherwise, there could be a, a serious serious backlash you know i alluded to in the last video that possibly this could be false advertising and could be misleading and a court system might not take kindly to all of that in the long run maybe this is something the ftc fcc or ftc needs to look into whichever uh u.s governing body that might be uh you know from a consumer standpoint this is downright dirty and despicable and it really sucks to see that playstation has gone this route has you know put out this game advertise it as such and then it all of a sudden is completely censored now taking a look at the petition update we're currently 36,000 people have signed this petition it's going to gain even more traction as this continues to go on grums actually put out a tweet stating that it's being being shared around in japan now so we are seeing this go multilingual we're seeing this go worldwide and there's going to be more to come so stick with this channel, subscribe to this channel, because I'm going to be covering what I can of this when I can, and we'll have to see where this really goes. Hopefully they can just reverse the changes because it, it doesn't even make sense to, to censor a mature game at this point on such a minor thing. Putting a shirt over the midriff for what? What does that gain anyone other than to stir up this controversy and to create backlash? What were they thinking in this? And I have no clue what they were thinking in this. Some have suggested that this is shift up, that this is something they've done in the past with other games, um, but more like to tend, it is Sony sitting there saying, no, this cannot be, even though the demo came out and everything was copacetic and they said it was going to be uncensored. Anyway, I'm your proud kitty in Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't listen to what the media says about Canadians. I am one of the good ones. I am one of the ones sitting here in front of my computer day in, day out to try and bring you stuff what's going on. I don't care what's going on in the rest of the country here because it's absolutely abysmal in that sense. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day.